Greetings fellow Pro Tools users. Today I'm going to be showing you some very cool tricks you can do on a Mac. As many of you are aware, one of the new premium features of Pro Tools 10 is the timeline cache that places your entire session into RAM. Doing this dramatically improves session responsiveness and virtually eliminates most common playback errors. Obviously, the big controversy right now is the price tag that comes with this sort of feature. Now I'm here to show you exactly how you can take advantage of this kind of performance boost entirely for free by using the RAM disk feature built into OS X. This is actually a seldom known feature that has been around since OS 3. Originally, there was simply a memory window in System Preferences, but that was removed in OS X. However, the feature still exists and it only requires a very simple terminal code or an AppleScript application, both of which I will show you how to do. First, let's go into Terminal. Applications, Utilities, there it is. Open it up and we'll be typing just one line of code. Now in this code, there are two parameters for you to modify. The first of which appears in quotes. You'll notice it says RAM disk. That's simply the name of the volume. You can change that to whatever you like, but it's a good idea to name it something you will remember as the RAM disk so you don't accidentally eject it. The second parameter, which is coming up at the end, is the volume size represented in kilobytes. The thing to keep in mind here is that the size will always be half of the value that you enter. So if you put in 1 million kilobytes, you'll end up with a 500 megabyte volume. This is because you technically need double the RAM for the disk you create. Basically, the reasoning behind this is that the memory you designate is no longer available to the system and is now read simply as another mounted disk in OS X. So the data in the RAM disk will still buffer through the RAM cache as it would from any other disk. So that's all you have to do to create a RAM disk. Just hit enter and it'll pop up on your desktop just like a flash drive. Open it up and you can drop anything in there. Quite simply, if you run a Pro Tools session from there, it's exactly the same as if you load your session into the timeline cache feature. Now there's a couple things to keep in mind when using the RAM disk, namely that this disk will be cleared if you shut down or restart your computer. Essentially, any action that clears your RAM will clear this disk. Ejecting will also clear everything that's inside it, but you can't eject it if you're running Pro Tools, so there's no danger in losing a session while you're doing something. Now, to avoid having to recreate this every time you boot up your computer, you can create a simple Apple Script application to put in your login items that will automatically create a RAM disk after booting. So we'll go back into Applications, Utilities, and open up the Apple Script Editor. We're actually going to use the same code we used earlier, but with a shell script that just tells OS X to build the RAM disk for you. I'm just going to copy and paste it in here, so save a little bit of time. Click Compile, click Run, and that's it. Now, you have a RAM disk on your desktop, and you only need to create it with this program. All you have to do is double click on it, and it'll create this automatically every time, so you don't have to go into terminal and do this. So, save it. Whatever you want to save it as. Make sure you save it as an application format. But you can name it whatever you want. You can save it wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. At this point, all we're doing is creating an executable file that can be read from your boot menu to automatically create a RAM disk. And now that you've done this, we can add it to your login items so that it loads automatically when you start up your Mac. So, we're going to close AppleScript, and we're going to go down to System Preferences. Very slowly, there we are. It's under System, Accounts, and now we'll click on Login Items tab. And there we are. Now you can see I already have my own script set up here. But to do it yourself, just click on the little plus down here, find your file, and click Add. Now it's on the list, and it'll launch every time you log in. So now you know how to create a RAM disk volume in OS X. You can just drop a session in there and launch Pro Tools as normal from the session, and reap the benefits of taking disk speed out of the equation. The question now is how to make sure your session is getting written back to your hard drive. 
You can simply drag the folder back onto your drive when you're done, or you can check out some of the free automated options I have documented in part 2 of this tutorial.